Hi, Kristen. I'm in a weird spot because the sun is like kind of bright right here. So I'm like, that's why I'm awkward. But I have. Have you been, Kristen? It's I was saying today I was on this morning or this afternoon, like around 12, around noon. And I'm like, I didn't even know it was Sunday. Like, someone's like, oh, happy Sunday. Hi, Joseph. Oh, good, Kristen. This this is driving me nuts, this hair, but it's, it is what it is today. I'm good, Joseph. How are you? Should I zoom in more? I'm trying to avoid the sun, guys. So I'm like, I'm awkward. Hi, Sally. Sally, this was like a very like last minute decision. I'm like, should I? I really wanted a refresher, and I'm like, I'm running. I'm I'm running to write it after this. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop and grab a refresher and do a live for a little bit. Oh, thanks, Tate. I, it, this is just driving me crazy. This little this little piece here. But you know, it's funny. I asked, I, now my new thing is like where I get my strawberry refreshers, I ask them if anybody else asks for water instead of green tea. And this kid said, nobody has ever done that before. How funny is that? I started a new trend. Hi, hi, Abraham. Hi, Nard. After this, I'm going to head to Rite Aid. But I wanted to grab my drink first and just say hi to you guys. How do you... How do you go about being ignored by SP when you're manifesting when you How do you... How do you go about being ignored... When you manifest him, when he reaches out. Are you saying that you're in contact, though? I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, uh, Try it, Juju. It's so good. It's mixed with ice water. I mean, I say ice water because it's ice and water, but it's so good. But now, some people don't like that this strawberry from Duncan. My, my daughter says it tastes like medicine or something, but... I absolutely love it. Um, are you saying like, yes, on and off? So so if you're on and off, Bella, this is going to be what I'm going to recommend. Really just focus on yourself more, right? Or you're going to keep getting that wishy-washy behavior only because you're still you're still unsettled, right? It, it, it comes down to you, Bella. It comes down to you being confident and secure. You're not even concerned. You won't even be asking me this question, right? That's how you know. That's how you know because you're asking me this question. So the answer is going to be to focus more on yourself and being happy on your own. When you're at a place where you're just so happy on your own, you're a magnet to, to the healthy version of that relationship because you're not needing someone outside of you for like to make you feel better. You're not needing that validation. You're not, you're fulfilled, right? So just the fact that you're having that is going to tells me that you need to focus more on yourself. Don't worry about how it unfolds. Don't worry if you lose contact for a while. Don't worry if you don't hear from them. Trust me, it's all unfolding perfectly. Everything's working out in your favor. You really have to start saying that to yourself like every day. The more that you work on yourself, the more that you feel good now and you understand that what you want is done, 
you start to see that everything, no matter what, is working in your favor, right? Here I am. My It was my daughter. Ha! <laughs> that was funny, Christine. Now, I only ghosted you guys that one time. That one time I did ghost you, I'll, I'll admit. My phone went completely, completely, it just completely shut off. I was so mad. Sorry, Nathan. I, I was getting a phone call, which is so rare for me because I don't have, I don't have friends. So, like, it's always my kids or something. Like, nobody calls me. Hey, Sherry. That's why I know it's my daughter. But I was telling, telling, um, I don't know who was hanging out with me first when we first jumped on here. I forget. Oh, oh, no problem, Bella. No problem. Well, Bella, Bella, that's why you're on here with hanging out with us. Yeah, I'm from PA. Yeah, I'm from Philly. That's the accent you're getting. The kid at the kid that I got I got this at Dunk um my Dunkin' that I love. But I never really get this one with the water here because I've been going to another Dunkin' because you guys know I go to every Dunkin'. He said nobody ever gets it with water here, ever. So I'm starting a trend. Hi, Shami. You grew up in Delco? Everyone says, Juju, that I sound like I'm from Delco. <sighs> nice arms. <laughs> oh, goodness. You can't even see my arms. <laughs> my necklace. My <laughs> necklace. It's never going to be right, Nathan. It's never going to be good. Oh, you know what it is, too? Honestly, guys, this is how it should be. This is, It probably won't bother you this much, but I don't like it like that. I don't like it all the way down, so I, I, I pull it backwards because <laughs> I like it tighter. That's why it probably looks crooked. Oh, thanks for the necklace, JK. That necklace was nice and even. Right, Christine? I think I think Nathan's um I think he's getting a little bit extra now with this necklace thing. <laughs> Aunt Mary Aunt Mary Pat, oh my god. I remember her. Does she still do videos, Aunt Mary Aunt Mary Pat? Happy Sunday night. Ah, oh, happy Sunday night to you, Riley. God, the, he did such a good job with this drink. Hi, Shelly from Ireland. My brother's going to Ireland. <laughs> I know, right? Ashley, you can email me, and I usually just ask people if they want, if they want a one-on-one, -on -one, just to email me and give me like a base of what, of what you want to talk about, right? So I can like prepare something for you. I don't like to just go right into it. I like to kind of know where your what your story is a little bit, right? And and point out your your main questions, right? That's usually how I like to start it because it's a waste of time when we're kind of like all over the place and a lot of times people, they're so focused on what's not working out and the whole conversation is about what's not working out on. So if you can tell me, if you can email me, if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching guys, and I, I know I have to write this in, um, in the bio, but just email me exactly, I think I might have it in there. Email me exactly what you want to talk about, right? 
the questions, like give me some questions so I can kind of come up with a good plan. What drink you get? What do you mean? You must not know me very well, Fernando. If you're asking me what drink did I get, you must be new here. <laughs> you must be new here. If anybody ever asks me what drink I have right now, I know they're new. That's how I know. Have you been feeling? Have I been t feeling tired? Juju? No, not anything out of normal. Like, maybe a little bit today, but like nothing that I would think overthink or anything. For me, I kind of know when I'm getting tired. I know that I, for me, it's more, I know when I need to relax and like take a nap compared to, or meditate compared to like when I'm getting bored, right? I always like ask myself, is it time to like meditate and quiet my mind? Or it, is it, is it boredom and I should probably get up and do something like clean the house or vacuum, right? I don't think you can make a mistake. It's just, you get really good at knowing of, of knowing how you feel and what's best in that moment. Thanks, Fernando. Oh, yeah, anyway, I'm sorry, Fernando. Yes, it's a strawberry refresher I get from Dunkin' Donuts, and I get, I get it mixed with water instead of, I know you can get lemonade, coconut, or green tea. I like it mixed with water because I'm special. <laughs> I've been an extremely sad and extra emotional not judging it just trying yeah Christine like literally that's all you do did you guys check out my most recent video today I realized why things I used to say to myself like everything always works out for me no matter what whether I always worry like I'll be worrying about stuff why did I even worry about it It always works out and I've been like this my whole entire life it always works out and I figured it out especially with helping others I figured out the main component and it's because I never talked about my problems. I was always so quiet. I always kept things to myself. Nobody ever knew what was going on in my life, right? And I, that to me is, the, is a big component because now when it, and I think this is normal because most people are trying to understand manifesting and understanding how to create their own reality. But because we're learning it the way of affirmations and doing something to manifest, we're taking down that road of, well, am I doing it right? And what if this is happening? And what if that's happening? Not understanding that that's exactly little bug. That's it. Get out of here. That's exactly what keeps those things active. And my whole life, I've always kept things to myself. Like nobody knew when I was sad. Nobody knew when I was worried or anything. So Christine, that's the best way to go about it. I, it doesn't feel good though. It doesn't feel good. I, I know, like, I'm not going to sit and say it did not, it, it felt good. It, it didn't always feel good. Resistance doesn't feel good. She talks a lot. <laughs> I do talk a lot because it's my life. God, like, I know you're not being mean, but a lot of people will be like, oh, she didn't shut up yet. Sounds like Delco. That's so funny. Yeah, it is Philly, but I always get water. Yeah, I say water. I do say water. Oh, Christine. But Christine, I, that's what's so, watch that video. I just posted it because it's, you, you do, you, you don't feel good with resistance. It doesn't feel good, but the more you just keep keeping it to yourself, like I would be at work going through so much stuff. Nobody would ever know what I was going through. And it always worked out for me. It always worked out for me because I never talked about my problems. I never, I never, I never really wanted anybody to know my, my business. I was always private, but I, I found out through like, helping others with this that that is a that's a big thing I'm not sure if this sun's still a little a little too bright and you know what Christine I think sometimes we get concerned because it doesn't feel good but that's okay because you know what you start to understand it more and more and you start to almost embrace it in a way because you know it's leading you to something more and if you can just stay calm and you know, just not resist that discomfort so much and just accept it, accept the discomfort for what it is, Christine, you overcome it and you kind of have a level up after that. You're only sitting with it to like, let it kind of like dissolve on its own, right? Balance of, are you, balance of extrovert and introvert. I've always considered myself an introvert. 
Yeah, I want to figure it out because it's been lingering for days. Oh my gosh, I know. So did I all the time. You don't have to figure anything out. Um, sometimes, Christine, like sometimes a story will come up around it. And it, it that's okay too, Christine. But like I always try to like stay really calm even if there's a story involved. It makes sense. The story, no matter what it is, you don't have to figure it out. It will work itself out. But I can tell you, it's it's always leading you towards more of who you want to be. That's like the best answer I can give. Even if there is a story there, sometimes there's not. Don't try to look for a story. Don't. Just, it'll work itself out. It'll, it'll dissolve on its own. But if there is a story there, just stay calm with that story. It's always... It's always guidance to help, help, it's helping you become more of who you want to be. That's all it's doing. So you can always think, well, how would, how does this story, how is this that's coming up right now? How is this telling me, I want, like, how is it making me become more of, of who I want to be? Like, what's it telling me right now, right? So you can sit with it in a calm state and, and ask that question. Does that kind of, once you know this, you approach these, these, this resistance a little bit different, right? So, I mean, if it's making you feel good, Kobe, that's really all that matters. Like in that moment, you can come up with stories and you can come up with like, that's the thing. You're allowed to visualize of things that you want for your future. Just don't, I always say don't persist in something, right? Just in that moment, if it feels good to think of you living on a farm or living with tons of land or walking on a beach, like that's all fine. You can do that. That may, that's part of how we manifest, right? We think of what we want, right? But I, I tell people mostly don't get so stuck on the way that something can come in because you kind of limit yourself in a way. But if in, in that moment you're thinking of something and it's feeling good, that's all that really matters. All that matters is that you're feeling good, right? You can't really mess up, but you can't mess up. I can tell you that. Hi, balls. Because you'll know if like you're persisting in something and then you're feeling resistance. When I hear the word persist, I say this all the time. I hear the word resist because the more you're persisting, you're, you're just causing more resistance. And then eventually you get tired of persisting. You give up and it shows up in your reality. You don't even rec recognize your own writing. Uh, I threw out RJ all of my old journals, but it's probably because you're not literally think about how much you, you change along the, along the way. Right. You look at some of the, I actually, I had that same thing, RJ. I used to say like all the stuff that I wrote in my journal, some of it, some of it relates to, to what I like have manifested and what I've been manifesting, but most of it hasn't. It's completely different than what I like kind of planned on it being. Yeah, RJ, it's because you, your mind ex is expanding and you're not, and now you're knowing how unlimited you are, especially RJ, if you're making it about feeling good and relaxing into resistance and making it more about feeling, then you're, you're being open to more possibilities and ways that these things can come in for you. You're, you go, you fly past all that stuff. Like, cause at first when you're learning this, you are persisting. At least I was, I was doing it that way too. Affirmations, writing it down all the time, constantly looking at it, constantly reading it. Oh my God, writing it down. That was like, seriously, that was like, so I can't believe I even did that. Um, but that's very limiting. So the more you make it about how you feel, you move past all that and you realize, oh my God, you, how unlimited you truly are. You're, you're going to it, like, it's, you change completely. How are you, Vols? You teach your kids these practices. So more so, Kale, I've learned that it's about being the example to your kids. I do talk to them a little bit about it. I, my kids are older, so like my oldest son, definitely. Um, but they're each very different. My kids are so different, all three of them. So like my approach with them is all a little different. But I think it's mostly about being the example, staying in a positive energy, not hovering over them and so much, letting them learn their own way, loving them no matter what, no judgment at all, right? Just being there for them, but not, not doing things for them so much, letting them learn, right? So um, more so for me, it's about being that example to them. No problem, RJ. Yeah, I had so many journals. I had like four or five. I, I've always wrote. I've always been a writer. Um, I've always had journals. 
And I had so many for manifesting. I threw them all out. Like they were so not exactly what I was manifesting, but at the time I enjoyed it. It was fun and it kept me like in flow, right? I, Vols, I thought that was so cool on the Facebook group page. I posted a picture of cloud, of a, of clouds and Vols said it looks like a face and I didn't see it. I think it actually looks like a goat, like a, like it looks like actually a goat. I thought that was so cool, Vols, that you seen that. I looked back and I was like, who was this guy? And just, I know me too, RJ, right? I feel like I, it was like kind of, I was in a, it was more of like desperations at times when I was journaling before, like I was definitely chasing. There's no doubt. That's when I was doing the affirmations and all that stuff. And that's where I was. I was very, I always say like that to me, I was still very limited on how to, how to do, go about this. I know, and I try to use her. I'm so picky about coaching. I don't really prefer, I don't really want to coach too much because I want people to know that you are your own coach. You are your own psychic. You are, you know, you have a higher self that's guiding you. You don't need me. And that's like one of my main things. Like, that's why I prefer writing books, right? And inspiring people to trust their own inner guidance, right? So I'm very, very finicky about, coaching because I think it keeps people I think it's a waste of money a waste of your time a waste of energy right a lot and it it you know and you may feel better after it but you can feel better after listening to me or listening to one of my TikToks the same way right it's about really knowing guys that you have your own inner guidance your higher self is guiding you right now in this moment right and it's about really practicing meditation and breath work and settling yourself down in each moment to know that you're being guided and you're exactly where you need to be. And I always say the answer, if there's any, if you're curious, if you're wondering what else do I need to do? What else should I do? Am I missing something, right? I always, I ask these questions. I'm telling you right now, do you know what the guidance always says in that moment? It pops right in my mind every single time. Relax, you're exactly where you need to be. And even if I pop up on my phone, I decide to look at my phone right after that. It's always like, you're doing great and you're exactly where you need to be. Like literally, like that's always the answer because you are, you are. The more you make the best of each moment, that's all you got to do. You just make that a regular practice. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, Sherry, if it's inspired, go for it, girl. Sherry, you're young, right? Sherry, I vis visualize you to be just like this happy, positive, little, like, I don't know, just cute girl. <laughs> oh, there's a little bird in front of my car. Hey, Sherry, remember, you can't make a mistake. Are you, I'm not a doctor. I was inspired, but I let him go because he looked just like the other one, <laughs> Sherry. Yeah, you could, I, you could say I give self help, right? In a way, I guess you could call that. These bugs want to come hang out with me and I am not liking it. All right. I just didn't want my car on. You'll know. You you won't even hesitate. It'll be like magic, Sherry. <laughs> Looks this way that till I finally said that's it, user. And then you found me, user. See? No more of that, right? You're exactly where you need to be now. And it's really about making the best of this moment. The more you make the best of this moment, and it sounds so simple because you're going to have moments where you don't feel good, but that's normal too. It's That's all because guess what? You're Now you know this information. Now you know that you're unlimited. Now you know you're moving towards everything. 
You know what I used to, this is another thing I used to say a lot in, in my videos when I was first realizing like you don't have to do anything to manifest. Did you ever do anything to manifest before you knew this? Did you ever manifest yourself at school, at your new job? Did you manifest yourself imagining I'm on this vacation before you were on the, I didn't, I didn't do any of that. And I still went, went on the vacation, right? I didn't manifest, I didn't um, visualize or affirm anything. Bridget, that, that's awesome. I love hearing that, but I can totally relate to that as well. I used to clench my jaw all the time. Like that was where I held my stress in my face. That helped so much. So I'm so happy to hear that because it's such a relief, isn't it? You feel, it keeps getting better. You'll keep being less tense and less tense. You'll be so much more relaxed in your body. And I'm not even, I'm not saying at moments when you're working through resistance that you might not tense up a little at times, but even that's different, right? I had a headache, like plenty of times working through resistance. And I, and I would be think like, should I not have a headache? No, it's normal. It's normal to not feel so good when you're working working through resistance, but it's really about just keeping those moments to yourself, not really trying to figure anything out too much. Even if the thought or story is there when you're having resistance, that's okay too, guys. As long as you're keeping it to yourself and you're just kind of moving through it in the most calm way possible. That's all you have to do. That's literally all you have to do. Oh, I'm so happy. Right, user? I like, I mean, I... I was always a good manifester, jobs, like my home, my things for my home, like just all kinds of things, cars and like, and I never, I never did anything. It just happened. <laughs> I think now it's more about like, if you, if you have a clear intention, that's great, but just know you don't have to do anything, right? That the clear intention is enough. And if you're not clear, don't worry, you'll get clear because you set an intention that you want to be clear. It's so easy. It's so easy. You're only making it about feeling the best you can in each moment. And when you don't, you're just keeping that moment to yourself as much as possible and you're you're relaxing. So for sleep, if you have trouble sleeping, I feel I find the best thing to help me sleep is to meditate because it tires you out. Right. And you're doing it like I just keep focusing on the nothingness around me or listening to like the ceiling fan or a fan noise. I don't even open. I don't even use YouTube. I just listen to the sound in my room and just keep focusing on that. Just nothing sound. Right. Whatever it is. And that puts me to sleep because it gets kind of boring after a while. Right. And that works for me. That works for me for sleep. You can listen to some sounds, too. If there's like I have some YouTube uh, YouTube. I have some TikTok. TikTok um, meditations that are helpful. I have like a nighttime one, crickets, ceiling. I have the fan one, air condition. You can check those out, but that has always helped me. Because you're, a lot of times we can't sleep because we are overthinking. Yeah, I have Kobe, but again, I didn't do anything. I would just be like, oh, like when I first kind of started getting into this, I'd be like, oh, I know that person's going to come back. I know they're going to go back. And then I'd start seeing their name and then bam, they they would text me. So like, it wasn't like people are teaching it. Like people are just like, you got to affirm and you got to do this and you got to do. No, it's just like lightly knowing. I, I know that I'm going to sp speak to this person again. But again, they were never like um, soul desires or anything like that. I, I still had to do a lot of like work, like working on myself, becoming happy on my own and like that kind of stuff. See, I'm like, it's warm in here, but hold on guys. Just in my car. I don't know how long I'm going to stay on here because my, of course, my daughter called and said she wants a coffee. Warm milk. Oh, I could never do that. The milk. I don't like milk. <laughs> but any type of like any type of um, meditation for sleep has always helped me. Have a heard of that makes my green off pink white.
Hey, Taz, how are you? Happy Sunday. Probably could lift that. Fat. You know what? You probably think I look like Farrah Fawcett because of this hair. Because look at this hair. It's not supposed to do be so extra like this. Now I know who she is. It's not working, Kathy. I think it's my phone. I think I'm going to, I think I'm really due for a new phone, honestly. I'm due for a new one. And the space on my, I don't know why all of a sudden, like, it just, I, I'm not able to upload anything. And I think it's because of the space on my phone. And, you know, like, your phone starts acting funny, like, when you're, for me, like, I hold on to my phone till last minute. But I do, I have to go to T-Mobile and just see. I know it stinks because I know everybody likes my lives, but. I mean, I am on here a lot, but I know you guys, it says I can upload clips of them, but I don't think that would be the same because I, I watched some of the clips and I'm like, all right, that says about two words. I wasn't, it wasn't even, usually my TikTok videos will go right to my photos and I'm, I upload them onto my YouTube. It's not even letting me do that. And I've been deleting pictures like crazy and it's still not saying I have no space. So I don't know why, because I don't have a lot of apps or anything. That's true. That's true, Sherry. I, uh, that is true. The only thing is, I don't love the, I know this is going to sound very, um, this is going to sound, what's the word? I feel like it's going to, the word, is it modest? I don't love the, the camera on Facebook. I love the cameras on TikTok. They they really they really hook you up i'll just put it that way like when you look at yourself like on your regular phone camera compared to like uh tiktoks i think i look like literally 10 years younger sometimes but i don't love the iphone cameras but i the facebook to me i don't think i ever did a face i'm not a facebook live were you saying a facebook oh youtube live youtube live I don't think I ever did a YouTube live, but I should try. I've done the Facebook lives. Shalina, a little bit ago. Yeah, you're, but the, you're right about the Facebook one. That did save automatically, didn't it? sounds like I wasn't fishing for compliments I promise it's just you guys know I'm sure you guys seen if you do you ever look at your iPhone camera and you're like who is that person like it doesn't even look like me <laughs> I just feel like TikTok really does does hook you up <laughs> Happy Sunday, Bill. I just seen that. Hi, Sam. Some days they just make this drink so good. It, some days it's just perfect. <laughs> you know what, Sherry? I believe that, too. I believe it. it it's not just the outer. It's the inner, too. I've always felt that way. Like, you, you meet people and you're just like... I don't know what it is. That person's just so pretty, right? And it's just their personality so, so like vibrant. Dragon fruit. I guess it is dragon fruit, isn't it? Where does the dragon fruit come into play with these refreshers? I, is it the actual? It's strawberry dragon fruit, right? User. Ah. I think that's why it tastes a little different than people, people walk in. This must be a hot spot where I'm at because you see people strolling. They're probably like, what is this girl doing? What is she doing? Hi, Sergi. I just seen you.
but that's a good idea. I could try it on, a, on YouTube and then it'll just stay up there. Coladas. Hmm. They have coladas. Wow. That what? Wait. Oh, culottes, right? Is it culottes? The strawberry culottes? Sherry, is that what you're talking? I was thinking pina colada. But if you're talking about mix of, if you're talking about the strawberry culottes, I, I don't like them as much as a strawberry refresher. I used to actually get the culottes all the time. And I got one recently. I got one, not recently, but semi-recently because they didn't have strawberry, oh, let me turn this off, because they didn't have strawberry refreshers for a while, like a very like short amount of time. So I got a colada and I did not like it. I didn't like it. So um, they taste more like a strawberry daiquiri. They taste like more like that. It, no, it's not a coffee. It's actually, well, they have like, someone said the vanilla, they have a vanilla one. I would like, to, I think I would like that, the vanilla. You like the raspberry watermelon? I'm afraid to try that. I don't know why. Um, one of my friends on here, she, um, she said she tried it and she didn't like it as much as the strawberry. And I feel like that that's going to be me, but I don't know. Pina colada. Yeah, Sherry, that's what it is. But if you like strawberry daiquiris and stuff like that, which I used to love them, but until this strawberry refresher, I think it might have ruined me, guys. I think it actually might have ruined me because it's literally all I ever want to drink. Like, I don't even like anything else. Like, I used to like strawberry daiquiris and the strawberry culottes from here. And, you know, I would, I would go, you know, outside the box and have something else or this or that. And now I'm like, no, if it's not a strawberry refresher, I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> now I'm like a little brat. Hi, Patrick. Something about this drink. I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know what it is. It's so good. Oh, thanks, Johnny. Johnny, be good. <laughs> I just drove by this bar that I've been to a couple times in my neighborhood, and I don't, I can't imagine drinking anymore. Like, not that I'm saying, like, you know, I'm not against people that drink or anything like that. I used to drink all the time. But I'm like, I just can't imagine me drinking anymore. I, I can't, Although I had a headache today, like I, I felt like that I, I did drink. Okay, Sherry. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I never. I think, are you are in it, Pat? I think Patrick's in our Facebook group. Aren't you, Patrick? I'm almost positive he's in it. Did you, Patrick, did I tell you it's a strawberry refresher? I seen you said what drink. Yeah, I, I, I thought he was. Hey, Matt, how are you, Matt? I am an EMT. I was an EMT, RJ. In my many lot, lifetimes, I was an EMT. I went from hairdresser to EMT. I went to hairdresser and I was like, heck no, heck no, this is not for me at all. There was so much drama and, and no offense to any hairdressers out here. I mean, I am one, but there was so much drama in the salons. I couldn't handle it. Um, and then I went to EMT school. That's not, that's no fun. Well, I, I would say that's no fun, RJ. Or, or is it fun? Is it entertaining? Oh, 
on what who we're saying. That was more of my my type of job because this was like nobody bothered you when you were an EMT. Like you were your own in your own area. You know what I mean? Like that was it was more private. I I like that so much better. Did I miss something? I feel like sometimes. Oh, oh, I I just blocked it all out. Right as soon as you go in, they're like. Don't like, oh, you shouldn't talk to her. She, oh, stay away from them. Stay away. And they were, they were like older, older women at the time. I was like, I was like in my twenties and they're like, yeah, don't talk to her. Like stay away from her. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm brand new. And they're already teaming me up against these ladies. Yeah. Aren't they, Patrick? I love these drinks. This one is great. <laughs> I know, Kinsey. It's so, it's so true. Like, I always say, like, I'm friendly, but I don't, I'm not trying to be like best friends with everybody, right? Listen to the first impulse when it comes to food. I ingredient candy bar. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Lena. Oh yeah. Listen, if I'm craving a ice cream sandwich, as soon as I open my eyes, I'm getting an ice cream sandwich. As soon as I open my eyes, I don't even second guess that impulse. I do not second guess that impulse. Anything I'm craving, I eat. Trust me, you will be so happy when you. When you crave something and you satisfy that craving, trust me. Oh, thanks, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, so like that first impulse, like for me in the mornings, it's always like a cookie. I actually baked cookie this cookies this morning because I didn't have any sweets in the house. I baked cookies so I could have a cookie. Like I just like to have something sweet as soon as I wake up. And I will, if I, I always have cupcakes usually in the morning or like some type of a cookie, just like from the bakery or whatever. And if I don't, I'll make a waffle like with butter and syrup, right? If I really need to, I don't prefer the waffle. I actually would rather have a cupcake, but that's me in the mornings. Like I need something like that really quick. And then I usually sometimes don't even have, sometimes I have breakfast, like a bagel, but sometimes I just skip all the way to like, to eating lunch slash dinner right but i'll eat cookies also for the rest of the day till di till dinner but you know what's so funny my parents were never strict with me so i remember being a kid and eating ice cream sandwiches for breakfast like we didn't have rules like that growing up to where like we had to eat breakfast or we had to uh, if anything i had my parents were very lenient they were very lenient like there was no like they were like, I remember when I was in school, I would come home for lunch and I was like, I can't wait to go home to just eat Doritos. Like, that's all I wanted was to eat Doritos. And that would be my lunch. Like I would come home and I would just eat like a half a bag of Doritos and then go back to school. Like I just never, we were never, my parents were not strict like that. Oh, homemade, Christine. Did you make it? I do two bowls. I love waffles. I always say I think and, and I prefer the like um the frozen ones. I, I prefer them. And like I, I make pancakes all the time. My daughter makes pancakes and I have a waffle maker and all that. But I'm like, I don't really like it compared because I grew up on the frozen waffles and I like them. And like I like actually like them better in the microwave with butter on them. And then I just pour syrup on it. That's the way to live, Sherry. I know, Patrick. I, I've always, I grew up on Doritos. Like, we always had Doritos in the house. Dairy free, dairy egg free.
I, I used to have, like, I would do waffle, uh, waffles and, like, sausage or something like that, but the sausage, I'm not into that as much. I'd rather just have the waffles. I'm, a, I'm definitely waffles over pancakes. So Anastasia, kind of like some school stuff still. Yeah, I talk about this sometimes, Anastasia. It's my kids are older, like they're they're almost done school, but it's like school stuff that I, I I'm a um I teach them. It's homeschool, and there's like just some things I gotta wrap up. I don't feel like doing it. I'm not gonna be even pretend like that. I'm playing because it's so easy the way I have it set up for myself. Um, but I just don't love it. Ah, uh, I lost connection, but it came back. Good. Um, but like anytime I have to deal with this school stuff and all that, but let me just say it always runs smooth because I don't stress about it. I don't worry about it. And like, I manifest it great. Like someone comes and does an evaluation and comes to our house. I'm, I got the best person to do it for us. Um, like, it's so easy. The process I have no, right. Again, I have no re reason to complain about it. It always works out, but I don't love doing it. It's just like, I look at the email and I'm like, Oh, I got to do this. Like, you know, certain things like that. But there's really not much. There's really not much. And it's not something I have to do. It takes me like one or two days to actually wrap it all up. So I don't know why I let it like even say that that's something that bothers me. But just one of those things I just don't feel like doing. I just I just don't feel like doing it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that was only a second. I hope, I think Duncan will stay open. My daughter wanted Duncan. Did you? you know what, Matt, I'm in a different spot today. So I didn't see my Fox friend. When I go in the very back of this area, there's a, there's a spot that I found. Um, the, my little Fox friend comes out all the time. This afternoon I meditated and walked outside and thought about you because it got me out of my, Oh, that's so awesome. It's like those simple little things, right? That ha like that just help you just relax and stop overthinking right and it's like if even though we have we're always going to have some some slight resistance in our lives because we're always going to be expanding and growing is it's a huge difference the more that you i think it is really about getting used to feeling that little bit of discomfort i think that has a lot and understanding not to overthink it so much just relax as much as you can keep it to yourself knowing you're always moving towards what you want like at in all moments i think it's really about learning how to be comfortable with resistance that's what i found in all of this i found that you know each time resistance comes up into my life i know it's just expanding me to more of who i want to be you know and i have to just not overthink it so much in that moment and just know that it's as soon as it goes away I'm going to feel like a million bucks because I just released something whether I know what it is in that moment or I don't it doesn't matter because you're going to feel that huge relief you're always it's always it's you it really is learning you're learning more of who you want to be of the person you want to be now gosh user you didn't cause that you know what if if Here's the thing, user. If this woman, she has her own path and journey. You did not cause her cancer. My mom died from cancer. I did not cause my mom's cancer. I never thought for a second that I caused my mom's cancer. Just know that everyone has their own path and their own journey as well. They're learning from us as well. We're all learning from each other, right? Um, I, well, I'm a la I got a lady to, I, I say I got a lady to leave. She worked with, uh, um, with me and I just didn't let her bother me. I knew she did, but I would say things like, I know she doesn't want to be here anymore. She's just not happy. I had compassion for her and I just, we just kept not seeing each other anymore. And I liked her. It wasn't like I didn't like her, but I knew she was just unhappy and we, we stopped seeing each other and eventually she left too. But no, you did not cause that. I took my shoes. Oh, I love that. Oh, yes, yeah, Sherry. That's awesome, Sherry. It's so true, right? Because we're only here to move towards more of who we want to be, which is that, which is pure positive energy, which is our true authentic selves to be ourselves no matter what, right? And 
you know, not worry about what people think and stuff like that. Uh, yes, I do. The boy. I actually prefer Taco Bell. I just had this conversation with my kids. My kids, see, my kids like homemade stuff. I love Taco Bell. I love their tacos. Taco Supreme with extra sour cream. To me, nothing beats that. But my kids want me to make them. They like the way I make them. They love, they love my tacos. And I'm a, I like them. I'm, I mean, I like my own, but I prefer, I would rather go to Taco Bell. I got a fun, so one time I have a, like a tree outside my, in my yard, like this really big tree. And I used to have a really cute little swing hanging from it, like a hammock swing that I would swing in. And one time I like, I went against the tree and I was like, I'm just going to sit against this tree and just relax. And then I touch it. I had sap on my hands for days, like all that sticky sap. I'm like, oh my God, like I'm so mad. I'm like this tree, this tree, like I'm sticky now. I, I could not get that. Did anyone ever do that? Like a tree or like touch a tree and get that sap on your hand. Like it does not come off for nothing. That's my experience with trees. Oh yeah. You know what? Sherry, my daughter loves them. The steak quesadillas. She loves them. It's so sticky. <laughs> It smells like a Christmas tree, though, I think. Doesn't it, Nathan? I feel like it has a Christmas tree smell. Or maybe I'm just thinking that because of the, because of the sap or something. I don't know. You need tree hugging gloves. <laughs> I'm, st I go, I'm, I'm like, to my, I tried all different things from Taco Bell. I swear, like, I am so, I like what I like. And I, it'll always go back to the basics. And for me, it's always been a taco, a hard taco supreme with extra sour cream. And, and that and, like, a Mountain Dew. It's always my favorite. Always. And I used to like the cheesy Fiesta potatoes, but they're, like, eh, they're not my favorite. I'd rather get another taco. Now I want a taco. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is, Nathan. Thanks, Cav, for the flower, for the rose. Huh, my, yeah, Bill, my son likes those, the Baja Blasts. I do, too, Shalina. You know what? Anytime I get a, like the melts for your candle melt or like a candle, I get winter smells. I like the cinnamons. I like the pine trees, um, the vanilla, like stuff like that. And that's it. I don't like any summer smells. I don't even really like the clean linen smell. Like those, those like little melts. I go right always all year round for me. It's like Christmas smells and fall smells. Uh, Cherry, isn't it like a game changer? Because I love that. When I sit down and like eat, like last night I'm watching TV and I'm eating something that I love. I'm like, I'm sorry, but this is why we're alive. I say it every time. I'm like, I, nobody can tell me that this is not why we're alive. To eat this food that is so good right now, guilt free, and just watch a really good movie right now. Right? Like there, this is why I am here on this earth. There's, this is the only reason right here and now. <laughs> So basically, you know, there is no other outcome possible except your new life. Yes, Rowan. And I don't really think about it. I don't even, I don't worry about it. I don't think about it because it's about knowing that every possible reality exists, right? Every possible reality exists. So even this desire of yours, whatever it may be, there's a best version of it. 
So make it more about that, that there's a best version of this manifestation and I'm moving towards it right now, but don't worry about it. Focus more on this moment and how you can make the best of this moment. And this moment will keep getting better and better and better. Obviously you're going to have to release some things that don't serve you, but you just stay calm and quiet. Those moments will pass, uh, but make it more about making the best of this moment and each moment. Trust me, that's the way to go about it. Everything you want is done. Don't worry about that. You can think about it from here and here, you know, from time to time, but you just always say, I know it's done. I'm moving towards the best version of it right now. Thanks, Dream. And hi, Dream. I feel like I didn't say hi to you, Dream. Dream. Oh, uh, yes. My, yes, my ebook. Uh, Dream is so good about talking about my ebook. And I'm, I'm so wrapped up in the new ebook that I'm writing now. And it's more of it. It's called Release Resistance. So it's more on um, ways that I've released resistance, ways that other people have released resistance. So it's more about releasing resistance. Feel good, stay calm is pretty similar, but it's that talks more about how you don't have to manifest. You don't have to do anything to manifest. And this is why. You don't have to do anything to manifest because this is the reason why you don't. And just to like get people to understand that you're not doing anything to manifest. Like you're not. You're, you're making it about this present moment and that's it. Okay. Oh, yeah. My brother. Today's my brother. Today's my brother's birthday. Oh, that's okay, Kathy. That's okay. People always ask me that and they always worry. I got to make sure Duncan stays open because I got to jump out on in there. Um, listen, you don't have to know because guess what? You just set that intention. I don't know what I want to do. I've said that my whole entire life. I've said that my, and it, it led me to writing books, writing eBooks and talking about manifestation. I would have never thought that I'd be doing this, Kathy. So just know that you set that intention, right? And now, God, everything just got so weird, like the lighting. And just know now you're, you're on your way to clarity. I think a lot of people worry about that because there's so much talk about you got to have this set clear intention in order to bring in what you want. But some people really don't know what they want right, right off the bat. Today was beautiful, Nathan. It was so nice today. It was like kind of a nice breeze. I was on live earlier today, guys. I was outside. I was on my deck. Uh, up on my the, the high deck um it was so nice it was like kind of like 70 were you nathan you were there i think um like maybe 70 degrees and sunshine but like a few some clouds but it was nice oh you did miss it i don't know why i thought you were there Oh, I was only on here one hour. <laughs> Did you, Sherry? No problem, Kathy. I think the, the, the less I knew, the better, honestly, Kathy. People will say you need a clear intention, Kathy, but, you know, I don't think, I think it's sometimes nice to just keep yourself open-minded to the ways that, you know, the universe can surprise you on things because in the end, you're not really going to know how things are going to come in for you and you'll be surprised at the way things can come in, you know, to you when you're more like open-minded and kind of just let things unfold naturally. No, Matt. Oh my God. No, Matt. Matt, think about, this is how I used to think about it. So we're so unlimited to the fact where there's things that we can create that could be brand new as well, Matt. Think about it like that. Like, yes, like you're creating because everything's here and now that you can, you can pick from wherever you want. You can pick from somebody once said, look like looking through a catalog. You get to look through that catalog because everything's already here and now. Anything you could possibly think of, you get to experience, Matt. But you can also create new things as well, right? You can create, how about all the people that do create new things all the time, right? That's how unlimited you are. So never think your dreams, you know, are too big. You get to have an experience whatever you want. Just keep making it about like how you feel and, and just feeling good and feeling the best you can. Trust me, there's not much you're going to have to do. It's all going to start magnetizing to you. Hi, Hubba. Hi, 
right? Uh, dreams, right? And uh, Abraham says, "What is it, guys? You know, I'm going to ruin it. I bash, I bash these things, but um, you can manifest a castle the same way you can manifest a button, right? Because you know, you could say like, I want to see a button, and you'll see it like in that minute. I want to see a penny, you'll see it in that minute. I want to see a quarter, you'll see it." And a second later, well, she says that's the same as if you wanted to manifest the castle. There's literally no difference. It's all the same. I've been bleach blonde before, user. I've been bleach blonde. Um, it's getting dark. It needs to be dyed. I need to. I need to put blonde in it. You tried it, Bobby. You liked it. It's so good, isn't it? What am I selling? <laughs> my wisdom. I'm selling my wisdom for free. Listen, guys, <laughs> if I could line up all the people that I got hooked on Dunkin' Donuts, they would probably be very happy. <laughs> Right, Matt? And that's why the more you make it about feeling good, Matt, you start to realize that too, right? You start to notice that. And the more you quiet your world from all the stuff that, you know, the stuff that doesn't serve you anymore, you're just opened up to all the possibilities like that are really there for you. Affirmations? I don't usually... Nancy, um, like, you know, I do, I don't know, you, you follow me, right? I do general affirmations and I'm trying to think of anything new that I've been saying on my, what, what, I do have something in my, I forget what I, what I said. I totally forget, but I don't even know if it was an affirmation, but I usually keep them very general. Like, I'll just say like, love, happiness, fun, laughter, joy, like I, unlimited, like, I'll just keep them magical. Like, I, I just use words a lot of the time. No, Matt, no, never. Because the more you do this, you're going to realize, like, oh, wow, this is actually easy. This is easy, right? Because things are going to start unfolding for you. But you're going to realize, Matt, it's like there's a journey to it that's fun. And that gets fun, right? At first, it doesn't seem that fun. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to be honest. Like, when Abraham would always say the joy's in the journey, it took me time to get to that place where I was like, okay, where's the, where's the joy in this journey? This journey's not fun, right? But it's because I still had things I had to release from my life, right? But then it becomes fun. It does. Once you start getting the hang of releasing resistance and resistance, it does actually, you are, you get the idea of enjoying the journey and not like manifesting the lotto. Not that that can't happen, but enjoying how your life is unfolding in a little more exciting way than just having the lot of the money in your hand. Right. And also you may have to break through some limiting beliefs before you can have that money in your hand. Cause then you're just going to lose that money. Right. So that's why I think it's important to really em start embracing resistance. Don't be afraid of it. Know that it's moving you towards the more expansive you, the best you. And, you know, embrace those challenges in a way because it is making more of making you more of who you actually want to be. So in those moments, just stay as silent as possible. Keep those lower energies to yourself, right? Work through them by yourself, even though they don't feel good. And I know they don't feel good. And, you know, you just kind of get through it almost in a way. You do. You get through it. Sometimes I can, like, distract myself. Like, I'll watch something on TV. Like, in my mind, I'll get off of it. But And then I'll be thinking about it again. But it's, it does go away. It does. And then you're like, oh, I can see what that, I can see that now. And it's like, I was like, I always call it a level up. Like, you feel that, oh, that revelation or that ha-ha moment after it. Yes, yes, the spiritual real. And I love that. Yeah, that's why I always say, like, I, I'm not manifesting money. I'm manifesting ha having fun, doing things I love, experiences. And I know that's going to make me a magnet because it's all about energy flow and, you know, keeping your energy in flow. I keep looking at Duncan. I think I'm going to jump off, guys, because my daughter asked me for Duncan and I don't want them to close. I think they might close at, like, 9. It's starting to get dark again. 
Hey, Mike. Yeah, but if anybody has any question, if I may, wackadoodle, what's in that mean I saw your... Oh, the mean, oh, the mean that I said, um, the wackadoodle one, it's because of how, like, I do my lives in my car, and it's like, it's kind of an inside joke, because, like, people always ask when I do lives in my car, like, why are you always in your car, why are you always in your car, so when it was, like, that wackadoodle meme, I was, like, bringing all my stuff into the car, like, my drink, my, my light, and my purse, and I had all this stuff to just do a live, right, so it was related to my lives, but you have to, like, be on these enough to really get it, kind of. Because, you know, I people think I'm a wackadoodle because I do lives in my car. Yes, guys. Thank you so much. And if you're, if you are, oh, hey, Lacey. But I, I, listen, I did them in my house, too. I used to always do lives in my house. I think it's so funny. But I guess if you're new... You're like, why is she always in her car? Because I was doing them every day, right? Um, but if you guys, anybody's new on here, you can Facebook, Facebook, um, I was about to say Facebook Live. Uh, private Facebook group, and um, I'm not saying anything about YouTube right now because it's acting funny with me. Maybe I will do a YouTube, a live on YouTube and try it out and see how that goes. But thank you guys so much. Everybody have a good rest of the night. And if you're having any resistance, just remember it doesn't last. Don't be afraid of it. Just stay silent. It goes away and it keeps you moving towards more and it keeps moving you towards your best life. And that's it. <laughs> Everybody have a really good day. Love you guys. Thanks again, guys.